Welcome to a statistics video on finding the standard deviation on your calculator. Now this uh, video on finding standard deviation on your calculator is relevant for Casio FX82AU or Casio FX82AU Plus or Casio FX100AU Plus. Okay, step one, I like to turn the frequency table on if it isn't on already. And the way we do that is to press shift mode and we'll scroll down until we can select the stat option and then we'll uh, choose on to, so we can display the frequency table. It's the best uh, way of entering data whether it's individual data or data with frequencies and I find I'll, I'll use that uh, each time no matter what type of data I'm putting in. So uh, that's how you turn the frequency table on then that gives you a, uh, a dual column sort of display here. The left hand column is for our scores and the right hand column will be for our frequencies. Now if we've just got individual items they can go in the scores and, it, and the calculator kindly gives us a default of uh, assigning a frequency of 1 to each of those scores anyway so it's no great drama that um, we have the frequency table on even if we're not hugely using that frequency column. To get into the statistics mode, ready to enter data, we'll press mode, then stat, then 1 minus var. That'll get the stats mode to, uh, to be on. And you'll notice a little stat will come up on your calculator, up the very top of your display to show that you're in the statistics mode. Okay, to enter data, we'll first have a look at entering individual data. And the way we do that is to click on the score, the, just uh, press the 5, then equals to enter it, then the 4, then equals, then the 7, then equals. So each uh, score gets entered by pressing equals after it until you're done. 9 then equals, then 2 then equals. So what that does is put the, as I said, the scores down the left-hand column, um, by doing that and uh, the calculator assigns a 1 to each of them until you're done. Now when you are done it's important to press the AC button to enter all that data in to lock it in. It's uh, pretty counterintuitive that because it, you might imagine that the AC button clears all the data and mostly usually it does in the other modes but in the stats modes what it does is it locks it in and makes sure that those uh, that the calculator remembers all that data you've just pressed in. So pretty important to Press AC when you're done to lock in the data. So that's how you get the data in for individual data. Let me describe how you might enter the data if the data comes along with frequencies in the question. So you might have a frequency distribution table there with a bunch of scores down the left hand column and their individual frequencies on the right hand column. So how we um, enter those sorts of uh, pieces of data. It's just really two phases, a bit like the first one uh, is very similar. We'll, we'll type the scores in and press equals after each of them and they will be entered into the left hand column of our um, display. And when we're done we'll scroll down using our replay or arrow button that's in the middle of top middle of your screen of your um, calculator. Um, and what we'll do is uh, once we've click that uh, 20 in, we'll move across with our arrow button and then up to the very top of the frequency column, the, very, the second column there. So you want your cursor to be just to the right of the first score that you entered, ready to enter the frequencies going downwards. So once we're in that spot up there, what we'll do is we'll enter the uh, frequencies in a very similar way as we did to the scores in the other other one. So we'll press two, then equals, then eight. Uh, sorry, four, then equals, then three, then equals, then six, then equals, and once again we'll press AC to indicate to the calculator that we're finished entering the data and lock all that data in. So it's really just two uh, rounds of data entry, one for the scores, then we arrow back up to the uh, top of the frequency column and into the frequencies. Once we're done we'll lock it in by pressing AC. So that's how you enter the data. Now let's have a look and see how we can extract the uh, statistical measures out from, from that data. To find standard deviation particularly this is how what we do. We press shift, then one. That gets us into a sort of a stats readout sort of section on the of the calculator. Then we'll press var. Then we'll look for a symbol that looks a bit like that. It's a bit of a sideways nine or six or whatever. Um, twisted around nine. 
and then some calculators have just the X but some have the little N next to it as well now you've got to select that that's the standard deviation symbol but you've then got to not forget to press equals to, to get that readout happening so it looks like nothing's happening but you press equals and uh, the standard deviation will come up for the data that you've entered so to recap uh, we need to turn our frequency table on. If we have uh, the frequency table on from a previous time we've used the statistics mode, it, it the calculator remembers that as your default in most cases. So we might not have to do this every time, but if you haven't done it before, you press shift mode, then you arrow down to select stat and then on, and that gives you that display with the two columns, which is so useful to us. Then step two is to get into the statistics mode itself by pressing mode, stat and one minus var is the correct section we want to be in. We'll enter the individual data by um, pressing in the, the data score itself and then equals each time when we want to enter each of those values until we're done. When we are done we'll press AC to lock that in. Or if we're uh, entering data with frequencies we'll do a round of entering the scores uh, with the number then equals the number then equals until we're done with that and then we'll scroll down and across sorry down and up to get our cursor up to the top of the frequency column just to the right of our first score that we entered and then we'll uh, enter the frequency values uh, in a similar way uh, clicking the frequency then e equals each time until we're done so when we are done we'll press AC to lock that data in so we're either entering individual data or data with frequencies whichever way you go there press AC to lock it in then to get your standard deviation out of that data we press shift 1 to get into the statistics display section VAR and then look for the standard deviation symbol which will be that sort of symbol and with an X next to it and sometimes a little N after it and then um, it looks like that's not working unless you until you press equals to get that displaying for you so that's how you find standard deviation on your calculator hope that helps now once you're done you might be concerned that you're not sure how to get the calculator back to the normal degrees mode that we usually work in so to get out of the stats mode I thought I'd just remind you to exit the stats mode we press mode then comp it's usually the item the the option one there so it's usually mode one I uh, just or press mode and then look for the comp name to select there that gets you back to the degrees mode so you can use your calculator in the normal way from then on Alright, hope that helps. Standard deviation on your calculator. Uh, run through that until you're pretty confident. And there's quite a few selections to memorize there, so if you're going to test and you know statistics is going to be in there, or data, um, I'd be uh, getting plenty of practice so, I, so you get comfortable and nice and efficient at uh, finding standard deviation and mean on your calculator. Thanks for listening. All the best. I'll, I'll see you next time for some more videos. PeterBlakeMath.com